this is the bait I'm using. I'm using just small little sand or blue crabs right here. Um, I'm using them right now because I came out yesterday, two days ago, and I caught sheep's head. So I'm gonna try to get one again. And crustaceans are generally the bait of choice. So I already ripped off the big claw, so I'm just gonna put a hook through it. Through that hole and out the back of the arms. All right, forgot to film, but uh, this is the result of using the crabs. Uh, this one might make size. I'm not that sure. You have to be uh, 12 inches to keep these sheep's head around here in Florida. So uh, I'm gonna take a measuring tape and double check. I think it might be a little small, but you know, it doesn't help. It doesn't hurt to check. You want to be careful about their teeth too. They have like shell breaking teeth right there. They usually eat crustaceans and like mollusks and stuff like that. So they're used to just crushing things. So don't put your fingers in there unless you want to lose it. Final view. See you, man. I think I got a fish on here. I'm not sure. Initially, it did feel like something hit it. But now it just feels like dead weight. I think it's a little guy. Yeah, definitely a little guy. Oh, chill. Oh, there's a pinfish, little greedy guy right here. This is good for the big fish over there. I know the spot, but there's someone there right now, so can't really use it there. All right, so I forgot to film again, but probably in the last clip you saw my rod fell in the water and I went to pick it up. This is the reason why. <laughs> I just decided to turn it off so I could pick up my rod and get it nicely, but I got a keeper sized fish right here. Another sheep's head. There from zero to 14 to the tail length. All right, and I'm gonna keep this guy actually. It's lit. Look at that, barely hooked right on the skin of the mouth. Oh my God. I should start bringing that. 